Hello, ladies, and welcome. We are in the very last week of July. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it, ladies. It is happening, ladies. I'm so excited because I'm one of those people that believe that we still have time as long as we are sticking to our commitments and just doing the daily work. There are just so many amazing things that we have access to. So one of the things that I have been able to get access to is money, peace, joy, joyous experiences with my family. I've been able to do this because I've committed to making sure that I make myself as well as my family, my finances, my health, and whatnot a priority, ladies. I believe that as we stay faithful to these things, God has a way of just sending us blessings and abundance and provision and all these things, but it takes us being faithful to the small things. So I just want you to just think about what will help you to end this month, I mean, in complete excellence, ladies. What are the two things, the three things, the four things that you can do that will help you to end this month strong? Guys, it is Sunday, July 25th, 2020, 2021. We literally have one week. August 1st will begin on next Sunday. That means that we have seven days to do some extraordinary things. We have seven days to love on our family. We have seven days to uh, plant good seeds financially. We have seven days to start the habit of working out or drinking water, eating right or whatever it is. We got seven days to build businesses and to create income streams. We have seven days. And I want to encourage you to just dot down five things. If you don't do anything else this month, you are going to dot, dot down five things right here. One, two, three four or five. This is what I'm doing. Hey, dear self, I need you to get these things done and get them done. But for those of you guys who are a little bit more on the organized side and y'all know how to handle your business and your schedules and pursue your dreams and walk in purpose and do cool things, y'all want the abundant life. Y'all need to do maybe a little bit more than five things. And the things that I want to encourage you to do, ladies, is to set some real specific goals these next seven days that are going to take your faith, family, finances, food, fitness, as well as your future to the next level. Suggestions, ladies, for your faith. If you want to increase your faith, you want to hear from God clearly, you want God to hear from you, you know, and hear your heart's desires. Maybe just praying daily is something you do for the next seven days. Maybe something else is, you know what, out of the next seven days, another goal I want to do for my faith is I just want to read one chapter this whole week, just one chapter. Maybe I'll do that on Wednesday or I'll do it on Thursday, but I'm going to get it down on my calendar. For my family, maybe you're going to spend some intentional time without a cell phone where you can just be present with whoever you consider your family, whether it's a man, children, and another adult, whoever your people are, be with them, be present with them, have good experiences with them, love them, forgive them, apologize to them, but get it done. Finances, maybe this is the week you're going to sign up for making money with Marley or building your bank account because you know you need to get your finances in order for that next level. Maybe this is the week that you don't spend as much money. Maybe this is the week that you open up the bank account for the business. Maybe this is the week that takes you to the next level, guys. It doesn't take a long time for us to change. It just takes us doing the work to change food. This is the week we're eating our smoothies. We're reducing our dairy intake. We're cooking versus eating out. We're working out, guys, fitness. We're stretching. We're writing down for the last part, guys, for your future goals. We're writing down our goals. We're making plans. We're getting coaches and teaching and education that's going to hold us accountable to those next steps, guys. And then, ladies, what do you do after that? You follow these steps to succeed, all right? I want to hear from you. What is it that you're doing for your family? What are you doing for your faith? What are you doing for your finances, your food, your fitness, your future? I want to hear about it. If you would like to share, please send a message, an email to Marlia at mhacanhelp.com. Again, Marlia at mhacanhelp.com canhelp.com. I want you guys to know that I can help you. I can hold you accountable. I want to hear from you so that I can support you. Whatever help that you need on your journey, I am here.
But here are some tips for you to succeed, ladies. Plot out your schedule every day. I actually pulled up some Instagram pages a little, little bit ago. Let's see if we can get these to load. Um, of some people who just, they do, everyone does their calendar so differently. But this one right here actually got some details in. She's like, deep focus time from this time to this time on Friday. It looks like she has a rest day on Monday. You know, like, there's just so many amazing things that you can do with your planner. As a matter of fact, I will take a picture of what I have going on this week so you guys can just see how I live my life, how I have my meetings with the people I need to have meetings with, and then I have other people do other things for me. Look at this. This is really cute. Okay. But we need to have a schedule. We need to know what we're doing for each day. Even if it's just one thing, make sure to call dad, you know, drink your water. And then I need you guys. The second thing I need you to do is just follow your schedule. Follow that thing. Okay. Follow it and set alarms and reminders. I love alarms. They let me know when I need to do something with my children, when I need to do something with a client, like they keep me on task. And then the last thing, ladies, to be successful, you're going to have to minimize your distractions and utilize accountability daily. Accountability can be your plan or accountability can be uh, an alarm, a coach, a friend, a family member, but something that's going to hold you to what you say. But also, guys, we minimize these distractions. You don't have to watch as much TV this week. You don't have to be on your phone as much. You don't have to eat all day. Like all these things that are keeping you from working on these things. Or keeping you from working on these things. Come on, is it really worth it? The food will always be there. The fun will always be there. But will your dream always be there? Or will God say, you know what? I don't know. You played around too long. I'm going to give it to somebody else. So if anything, ladies, let's stay accountable, guys, to these goals, these five. You don't do anything else for the rest of the month. Get these five done. But outside of that, ladies, the ones who really want to live the abundant life, be intentional with your faith, be intentional with your family, your finances, food, fitness, as well as your future, and you will win. Guys, I'm just so excited, guys, so very thankful, ladies, just for you all for choosing to just love yourself freely, unconditionally, with no limits, being that you're going to do the stuff that's going to make your life look and feel like love. You're going to take the actions on a regular basis that are going to help you to just Feel more of who you were created to be because that's all I want you to see. I want to hold you accountable to being the version of yourself that you were created to be. The peace-filled, purpose-filled, lovable, happy, joyous. Not the one that's burnt out from jobs or family or man or anything like that. Like, no. But if we get these things in order right here, ladies, you will win. So please make these commitments to me and let me know what it is that you're going to do. Ladies, if you want to have this on a regular basis, just being taught. Tune in, connect, the Loving Me Freely Society right here at the bottom of this page, right here, lovemefreely.com forward slash society. From getting access to the online portal that gives you all the self-help routines, I mean, resources that you need, the routines that you need to have, the digital products you need, get on that site, connect with us, and then show up. Show up to the virtual meeting so that we can hear from you, so that we can grow together. And if you need more, guys, you already know, ladies, I am your favorite accountability coach, simply holding you accountable to your daily goals and your big dreams. I pray that this month you will choose to be great and you will succeed. Until next time, ladies, peace and blessings to you all. Thank you so very much for joining me. I have thoroughly enjoyed this time. Let's have an amazing July 2021. This next week is going to be extraordinary.